Hi, Wonder Class, and welcome to our English lesson on Wednesday, the 27th of January 2021. So let's see what we're going to be learning about today. Can I write in the correct tense throughout my writing? So this is something I always notice in lots of your writing in year four is the tenses and sometimes our confusion of mixing up our tenses when we're creating our sentences. So let's find out a little bit more. So today we are going to be looking at using different tenses when we are writing. So when looking at tenses, we are focusing on the verb in the sentences. Verbs are the active part of the sentence. They also show time scale, letting the reader know whether something is meant to take place in the past, present or future. This is known as the tense of a verb. Verbs, so we have past, we have present, sorry, we have past, present and future. Tense has the power to decide when in time a verb will happen, in the future, in the present, or in the past. So can you give me an example of, of sentences in the past? Can you give me an example of a sentence in the past? So for this activity, have a go at writing down um, a sentence in the past and then you can post that onto Tapestry. I will reveal some of them as well. Um, can you give me an example of a sentence in the present tense? And can you give me an example of a sentence in the future tense? So have a think of how we can use um, these different types and I'm going to show you my ideas. Okay, great. So I'm going to give you an example of a sentence in the present tense. So here we go. Here is my present tense sentence. So uh, currently I am working on my laptop. So Miss Shah is working on her laptop. That is a present tense sentence because it's what I'm doing right now. So is working on her laptop. <clears throat> Let me give you a sentence of the past tense. So yesterday, yesterday, comma, Miss Shah was working on her laptop. And a future tense sentence would be next Monday, Miss Shah is going to have a meeting. So these are words which have changed the way that the, the tenses show in the sentences. So Miss Shah is working on her laptop, is she's currently doing that right now. Yesterday is the past tense. Yesterday, Miss Shah was, or I could change working to worked, past tense miss yesterday miss shaw works past tense on her laptop and over here at the bottom we have our future tense sentence which is next monday so talking about next week next monday miss shaw is going to have a meeting hasn't had it yet but is going to so there's just some ideas of some sentences so tense has the power to decide when in time a verb will happen in the future, in the present or in the past. There are two different forms of verbs, irregular and, re irregular and regular. Irregular verbs don't follow any rules when they change between past, present and future tense, but regular verbs do follow a set of rules. So here is a sentence. Let's see what's wrong with this paragraph. When I've read the paragraph to you, I want you to pause the video and then see if you can correctly write it out. Boonica felt like fighting yesterday, so she put it on her armour and rided her horse to the battlefield, where she fighted so much that the Roman army ran away. OK, so Boonica felt like fighting yesterday. Let's see how we can change this paragraph. So you might have had a chance to pause the screen and have a go at rewriting it. So I am going to move this down a little bit. And we are going to correct this paragraph. Boudicca felt, capital B for Boudicca, Boudicca felt like fighting yesterday. So she put on her armour and rode her horse 
to the battlefield where she fought so much that the Roman army ran away. So past tense um, paragraph has now been uh, the paragraph has now been changed for past tense because we're talking about yesterday and yesterday is in the past tense. Okay. So here are our simple verb tenses. So we've got Ken walked to school. So that is in the present tense. Ken walked to school. Ken walks to school every day is a present tense. And Ken is smart is also a present tense sentence. Perfect verb tenses shows an action occurred before another event in the past. So Julie had traveled to hundreds of countries before she moved to Spain. So it's just in the middle here um, that we're showing that that's the sentence Julie had traveled um, traveled to hundreds of countries before she moved to Spain. An action occurred in an unspecified time in the past. So Julie has traveled to hundreds of countries looking for a place to live that comes under present. And an action will occur before another event in the future. Let's see what sentence we've got here. So Julie will have traveled to hundreds of countries before the end of the year. That's in the future. So she hasn't actually done that yet, but is hoping to, which is the use of the word will. Okay, although most non-chronological reports are written in the present tense, the historical ones like our key text are written in the past tense. It is important that we make sure our verbs are written in the correct tense. So here are your three activities for today's lesson. Correct the paragraph below and rewrite it in the past tense. So let me read you the paragraph. Boudicca is a famous Celtic queen who is rising up against the Roman Empire in 60 AD. She is the joint ruler of the Iceni tribe and lives in a part of Britain we now call East Anglia. She rules with her husband, Prasutagus. So can you correct that paragraph and change it into a past tense paragraph? Task number two, in your corrected paragraph, underline all of the verbs. And task number three, create a short paragraph about Boudicca's appearance and write it in the past tense. So that's all of your activities for today. I hope you enjoy doing them and remember to post your work onto Tapestry. Bye everyone.